In about 124 BC, King Benjamin gathers his people to proclaim his son Mosiah as their new king. He teaches the people that salvation comes through Jesus Christ and the people covenant to follow him. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. commanded you to come up hither to trifle with the words which I shall speak, but that ye should hearken unto me. I have not commanded you to come up hither that ye should fear me, or that ye should think that I of myself am more than a mortal man, but I am, like as yourselves, subject to all manner of infirmities in body and mind. Yet I have been kept and preserved by God's matchless power to serve you with all the might, mind, and strength which the Lord hath granted unto me. Mosiah, I don't understand. Why must we work like this? Gilorum is right. You're the king. Should I? tax the people so that we may rest while others do this work? No, I myself labor with my own hands that I might serve my people. I tell you these things that you may learn wisdom that when ye are in the service of your fellow beings, ye are, are only in the service of your God. Also, if I, whom ye call your king, who has spent his days in your service, and yet has been in the service of God, do merit any thanks from you. Oh, how you ought to thank your heavenly king. If ye should serve him who has created you from the beginning and is preserving you from day to day by lending you breath, I say, if ye should serve him with all your whole souls, yet ye would be unprofitable servants. All that he requires of you is to keep his commandments, and he has promised you that ye should prosper in the land. I have caused that ye should assemble yourselves together, that I might declare unto you that I can no longer be your teacher, nor your king. But the Lord God has commanded me that I should declare unto you this day that my son, Mosiah, is a king and a ruler over you. Were it not for these plates, which contain these records and these commandments, we must have suffered in ignorance 
even at this present time, not knowing the mysteries of God. The Lord commanded our father Lehi to take them with him into the wilderness. And this is the sword of Laban, which Nephi used to fulfill the Lord's commandments. With this sword, I did stand against the armies of the Lamanites. As ye have kept my commandments, if ye shall keep the commandments of my son, or the commandments of God, which shall be delivered unto you by him, your enemies shall have no power over you. But, O oh, my people, beware, lest there shall arise contentions among you, and ye list to obey the evil spirit. For behold, there is a woe pronounced upon him who listeth to obey that spirit. I would desire that ye should consider on the blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments of God. For behold, they are blessed in all things, both temporal and spiritual. And if they hold out faithful to the end, they are received into heaven, that thereby they may dwell with God in a state of never-ending happiness. Oh, remember, remember that these things are true, for the Lord God has spoken it. And again, my people, I have somewhat more to speak unto you. For behold, I have things to tell you concerning that which is to come. And the things which I shall tell you are made known unto me by an angel from God. And he said unto me, Awake, and hear the words which I shall tell thee. For behold, the time cometh, and is not far distant, that the Lord omnipotent shall come down from heaven among the children of men, and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay, and shall go forth amongst men, working mighty miracles, such as healing the sick, raising the dead, causing the lame to walk, the blind to receive their sight, and the deaf to hear. And lo, he shall suffer temptations and pain of body, even more than man can suffer, except it be unto death. For behold, blood cometh from every pool, so great shall be his anguish for the wickedness and the abominations of his people. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. My sons, I would that ye should remember that these sayings are true, and also that these records are true. And he shall be called Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Father of of heaven and earth, the creator of all things from the beginning. And his mother shall be called Mary. He cometh unto his own, that salvation might come unto the children of men, even through faith on his name. And even after all this, they shall consider him a man and say that he hath a devil, and shall scourge him, and shall crucify him. Whosoever should believe that Christ should come, the same might receive remission of their sins, and rejoice with exceedingly great joy 
even as though he had already come among them. And there shall be no other name given, nor any other way nor means, whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ, the Lord Omnipotent. For the natural man is an enemy to God, and has been from the fall of Adam, and will be forever and ever. Unless he yields to the enticings of the Holy Spirit, and putteth off the natural man, and becometh a saint through the atonement of Christ the Lord, and becometh as a child, submissive, meek, humble, patient, full of love, willing to submit to all things which the Lord seeth fit to inflict upon him, even as a child doth submit to his father. And now, I have spoken the words which the Lord God hath commanded me, and they shall stand as a bright testimony against this people at the judgment day whereof they shall be judged, every man according to his works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. Thus hath the Lord commanded me. Amen. We ask thee for forgiveness of our sins. For we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Forgive us of our sins and accept our offering. And apply the atoning blood of Christ. We desire to enter thy covenant. That we may receive forgiveness of our sins. My brethren, my kindred, and my people, believe in God. Believe that He is, and that He created all things, both in heaven and in earth. Believe that ye must repent of your sins and humble yourselves before God, and if ye do this, he shall always rejoice and be filled with the love of God. And you will not have mind to injure one another, but to live peaceably. And ye will teach your children to not fight and quarrel one with another, and to walk in the ways of truth, and to love one another, and to serve one another. Impart of your substance to the poor and see that all these things are done in wisdom and order. For it is not requisite that a man should run faster than he has strength. And finally, I cannot tell you all the things whereby ye may commit sin, but watch yourselves and your thoughts and your words and your deeds and observe the commandments of God and continue in the faith of what ye have heard concerning the coming of our Lord, even unto the end of your lives. Amen. Send among my people. I desire to know if they believe the words which I have spoken unto them.
which ye have made ye shall be called the children of Christ his sons and his daughters for behold this day he hath spiritually begotten you for ye say that your hearts are changed through faith on his name therefore ye are born of him and have become his sons and his daughters. Therefore, I would that ye should take upon you the name of Christ. Remember to retain the name written always in your hearts that ye hear and know the voice by which ye shall be called and also the name by which he shall call you. For how knoweth a man the master whom he has not served? And who is a stranger unto him? And is far from the thoughts and intents of his heart. Therefore, I would that ye should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good works, that Christ may seal you his. <laughs> 